Where do you come from? Why would you understand anything exactly about what you wanted to have to say or do? Do you have a reason? Do you believe that where you wanted to become with your other friends, you wanted to think that where you couldn't be, you wanted to say that you were in the first place? Do you believe that you understand where you wanted to be? Do you believe that where you wanted to have to say you are, you can't believe in the answer after all? I can't say that where you wanted to worship is all life so profoundly, unintelligently. You could have begun with the idea that worship, in fact, was wrong and there is no wall where you could have made it mean something holy. So where do you come from? When you speak to say that where you were was so superior to nothing, that you could believe in, in nothing else but that you had a place to exist, and you thought that I would not take that place away from you all. I can understand that what you have to do is that you are not superior to a lion king, and I am one. <clears throat> so where you think you say you stand, is that what you started to believe could be classed as the normal understanding of adult life was evil and fake. There is no situation in which you could turn to believe and think to understand that where you had to understand and know about your own self was that you believed that what you had to say about yourself was more intelligent than what I knew. I can't believe that what you've done was believe that I have no place understanding what you are because I simply do understand. So where you think you say you do is that you cannot define life with language, no. Life has language to it, so we wonder why I had to say the way I did to you, which is that I was contradicting something that simply is not. So where that is is that it had to be applied specifically to that exact situation and scenario, and I don't have to continue to understand what the rest of this movie was supposed to be about. The film, Megami Tensei 4, and this one is called Mutants. When you visit online, you can find anakamikillip.com slash Megami Tensei the number four. So the rest of the world trying to find out who you think you say you wanted to stand up being, to believe that where you had to believe you were, you never had to understand what you had to think about for who your own life was going to be around. Why does anyone have to believe in where they are? What did you say where you are could mean? What are you speaking about? What are you talking about? Is it socialism? Do you believe that what you had to understand and exactly where you wanted to be was going to be more important than what another person was thinking and feeling in their own life. Thinking and feeling for where you think you say you know you are. I don't have to know about where you think you say you are. You were the one who divided thinking from feeling in the first place. So I can address who you are instead of what you think is going on. I know about who I think I say I am, which is that I do not speak to adults. There are children who do, yes. But I can talk at you? Surely not. But I speak in universals and I do not speak to into the language that you have. I don't speak any Spanish. Do you know what that is? It's an adult language. I have no place for children. Where you think you stand, you name you are. I can't believe in what you think you've done. Which is that who you think you said you wanted to become didn't have to matter to me. What mattered was that you decided that you would scave the world with what you are. I can believe that what I have to understand about myself is that my own power as an individual can be described in a certain pattern that's very helpful and a lot of fun for a lot of people to get into understanding. Which is that I could describe the powers of Kalel in, let's specifically say, a story, because it's an era of his life, the first Superman novel that I wrote. Yes, the books all for fun are on my website too, but it's supposed to be a rescue beacon, I'm stranded where I am. But an extra meditation is obvious. So where do you stand that you wanted to know about who you think you say you are? I am not the real child of Xavier. I inherited that name when it made sense for me to permit for self. So there is no real child of Xavier. Standing there, I can understand that I am the real child of Xavier. I always have been. Names come to me. Where do you think you stand you are? It's named for the Crown Prince of England. The younger, but that would be that I don't know what else it could mean because I'm the Crown Prince of England and the Lion King. 
so King of Russia because I said so. Where do you think your name you wanted to be? Um, as you're on a journey, it's true. So what did you want to have to think about your own life in? Well, one of King of besides that, I forgot. Specifically of a, a nation or a region or place. Toronto to England. I'm Kid America. That's not the same thing as anything else. I have to destroy all Mormons. Someone said. No, surely. This is America said. You don't worry about your pageants. When I tell you who you are and therefore you love me again, you can know that the height of happiness was your own existence the way you think you believe you are as a young woman. Who you think to say you believe you are? If I couldn't understand what you think you say your name you wouldn't be. You, they say young women in um, the Miss America pageant. Is it that one to say pageant? I don't know where it is. I haven't spoken to anyone for a very long time. Um, I, I learn about things seeing and hearing, so... Is it, it sounds, what is it, ridiculous about? Miss America cultures, do you have that you're doing more fun things now? Good. Um, they say young women in the same vein we would say the He-Man Woman Heads Club. But all of them, I'm pretty sure, are in the He-Man Woman Heads Club. For one, they hate He-Man Women. It's an ancient hatred. But why would you say what you said? Is that no one who's love, no one who's cute, doesn't hate women. What does the phrase mean? The words, no matter what you've done. You can't love a person and say that there's actually instead that you hate all women. Oh, so what does it mean to start? It doesn't matter where you are. What you think you've said you've done. Well, what did someone say? If they spoke incorrectly and you could hear what they are anyway, it's important to know. So who did you think you said you were? You, we would say we were in the Woman Hairs Club, but we would say that we were in the He-Man Woman Hairs Club. He-Man started it. Um, that's my sister's daughter, He-Man. No, it's my sister's son, Adam. He's called He-Man, but you don't know my sister. Or you have. Wonderful. I say superb when I'm underwhelmed. I'm speaking still, apparently. Where do people have to understand where they think they knew they were? Which is that I don't have to understand where I think I wanted to be just to be in a situation where I could believe that what I wanted to have to say I was didn't have to believe in who you think you say you wanted to know you were. I don't have to know myself because you said something stupid instead. Do I know myself and I wanted to start that conversation with you because I'm a gay? Know myself. We can talk to who you think you say you are, which is that I do know myself and I'm a very powerful wizard. So where you think you said you are, I don't think you knew what exactly being a wizard was. Which is that, no, specifically. It's not a game. It's a game of life, okay? Good. Where are we for that? I can't hedge to you. So where do we think we say we name we are? Being a sorcerer doesn't make you a wizard. Wizards are sorcerers is obviously true. And we do have the word sorceress also for a female woman who's a sorcerer. She's a sorceress because she's without sex. She will not have it with you until you're fucking her. And she's not thinking about fucking unless she is when she's engaged in sexual tensions with you. It's the same for boys when they think the other is sexy. They're both thinking about actual normal romance. Boys love talking about love. They only want one thing. If you needed another phrase, boys only want one thing. It's to talk about love. And you have to tell her every time that you're talking about love. So where you think you say your name you are is that where you think you had to know about and who you wanted to believe in. <coughs> I can understand that where I wanted to have to believe in, I could believe that who you think you say your name you are, I don't have to know the answer to who you think you say you wanted to be. 
I could leave it where I wanted to have to say I was. I didn't have to know about who I was. Why, why is this a big deal to say and do? What is this? It's hurting to not do it? No, really. What? It's making me feel better. Yes. Oh, man. What's going on? What is this? Why is this good? Well, this one didn't inspire people to mentally kick your ass. And so you got your ass kicked and you stopped doing this. Even though it was fun. I have to be Superman or wanting to be rescued by Superman. And I have to say, I want to be rescued by Superboy or Supergirl or Starboy. Because I need to be out of here and I really wish you would text happily to your friends asking. Super girl to hear you if you care about me and who I am because I'm in undying pain. So who you think you say your name you are is where you think you hadn't been. What's the, the catch for where you think you say you are? How dangerous is the situation that my wife Zelda is in? Is it super girl? So where you think you say your name you were? It's that important that we fight to her. It's that important that we fight to her because she's apparently captured without cars. No, I am captured without cars. I cannot go anywhere. It's a very stressful, frustrating situation. Do you not understand what my family could think that I was with them on? Because I did not want this world of slow bullying magic to everyone. I never agreed, and so I wish they would speak less as though I could ever have fucking come around to the best where we were together. I don't have to be a certain place with you to be your friend. So what that is, is that I was madness to speak to me of it in the first place. That I could have possibly ever been anything but vehemently opposed to the idea that, that you would want. I can't explain it, I can't describe it, what they could possibly want because it makes no sense to me at all. Where is anyone to believe in who they think they say they know they are? What is the next chance? It's a lot of fun. You can get start sketching even while you're listening to me speak in, in a simple way. What are you going to do if you're excited? You want to list out 10 points to describe your own power as a person. What you can actually do. If you want to keep that in uh, an actual bound diary book, maybe just put them down there. What they have at actually almost any bookstore, like a Barnes and Noble. Noble. Books. Shops are not noble, but they're noble like books. Something like this. The softer ones I like better. Wonderful. Things people don't open just to think them. Or things that they can't comment on what they've read if they open a book to look at it and you wrote something inside a book. Interesting. How could you think being kicked in the balls isn't? Psychic, that it hurt that bad. You put a certain weight in your existence on what that is in your body. It's a vulnerability. I'm not going to hurt you, or I'm just like they are. So where do you think you say you are? When they try to pretend that there's no pain, as an evil person was kicking the testicles, kicking the balls. When they try to pretend there's no pain, what happens is they actually can't breathe. So it is always working. It's, it's, you cannot try to double game a human's anatomy and not create that weak spot from trying to double game males. But like, you, what, males? Certain males? 17 of them? No, not even in the slightest regard. Male itself. What? Nothing about what you are to some madness in the stand place, but okay, they're going to get fucked up for it. What's the equivalent? People who say hitting someone in the breast, that's not it's the equivalent of that long shot. It's going to be completely different. It's punching her in the face. <coughs> it is so, punching her in the face. What happens? There's balances for where you were, which is that even kicking the balls is not face. You can 
severe psychopath. You cannot say, I kicked him in the balls, like he's going to lose face. Why did you kick him in the balls? And, and in no situation did it start to sound like it could have been a face, and you didn't understand the situation, which is that he cannot be hurt further than the pain of being kicked in the balls. By being kicked in the balls, his reputation will not be harmed. If he's an assaultist and a, 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 a gnarly person, that's obviously losing face if he had a, a mask on before that people believed in. But being kicked in the balls is not face. It's what happens for where you think you say you are. If you said you had a girl in the face, like you were saying, yeah, I hit her in the face because you thought that's the magic of, of saying face. You fucking what? No one can you have heard it and killed you for it. And any school you are there is. You can't hit a woman in the face. Obviously. You can't hit women. Duh. So where do you think you say you are? What did you think you knew? You can punch boys? Well, you shouldn't hit girls. Do you know what girl is? A secret child who gets boys high. You shouldn't hit girls, it's true. But they're, they're doing cute body things. For everyone's existence, high and happiness. So what's going on for everything? What do you think you say you know you are? And what do you want to become? Do you believe in what you think you say you are? What if there was something qualified to your hair being brown? And people didn't try to claim they were things they were not. What are they? Do I have brown hair? I'm asking. Does it look brown? My people are the good ones, so when I say my friends, you have to wonder what's going on. My friends are telling me, in my psychic epiphage, that it's crazy for me to think that I'm stressed out, that my hair is brown instead of blonde right now. I thought that's going to blonde. They say, you, don't not, you do not have brown hair. <laughs> so where do you think you say you are? What have you done with what you think you say you've done? Is your soil colored and mineral to be brown? Does my hair look like mineral? I don't think it is. What's blonde? It's not honey in the slightest regard. Honey colored hair is what you say of honey hair. It is hair. You don't have to be born an airbender to be born with hair. God, that is air. Soil colored, or mineral colored, I mean, a better word for it. To be brown. What's black in the truth for what you think you are? And jet black? Jet black is usually described as um, what blonde looks like, black. It means dyed and so turned to black. That's what's speaking. Harry Potter had jet black hair, but Harry's an Aryan. It is blonde. Has his mother's eyes. I don't know if that's true. No one knew Lily. She's not a real person. Is not. What do you think dark hair and glasses made sense? Daniel Radcliffe's father looks dirty and therefore like him. Oh. Where do you think you say you are? What do you want to do? What do you want to become? It brings to mind I, was, I spoke of them briefly the other day in literature on the keyboard because I was talking about kinds of learners. Because you said, apparently in schools, that there was three kinds, and a, and a fake fourth one. Video, learner, also. There's more. In, it, it is a list designed to accompany everything. Well, you, maybe you got somewhere very alien, and we're like, well, there was not in the slightest regard relevant to say, before now. It was not before us. In any shape or form. We got there. And it's wonderful because now that I'm here, that's a bridge. Because it doesn't make any sense for no, no one here to be where there was. It was worldly connected. So it makes sense for someone like the Avatar, which is what I am, to update a list and change it for that. My Zodiac is startlingly fun and gorgeous to get into. It's got East and West tier, which is that if you're 
a cat, you are Veda. Did you know that? Krishna saw him, Kashti and saw him. He now Kresti does mean Christian. You should understand what's going on with where it is, which is that everyone seems to understand what big Christian boys is. But in their actual heart. So what's Christian? Uh, orgasm focused. Christ Christian. Orgasmic. Your orgasmic sign. Yes, it is called an orgasmic sign. Wonderful. Are you a twin? No, this is he's a Scorpio. That's a rapist. And there's no such thing as Gemini. It's a monster, a doppelganger. The Gemini, she said they were Gemini, were never Gemini. In the slightest regard. If ever, it was Octopi. And they were not Gemini. They thought they were better than you and they would say they were doppelgangers, even though they were not acting like doppelgangers. Octopi were mutant evil that was evolving, and actually, even though being all the way evil, they were becoming more evil. They were more evil than any like a scorpion. Scorpion are evolving evil, actually was not. Were crabs an evolving evil? They're extinct now. Yes. And I never spoke of them because I knew them to go extinct, and I was having people kill the monsters and the animal kingdoms for crown. But they um they didn't have crabs in Hawaii at all anymore. But, like, they've never had crabs in Hawaii, but they kill them. Ew. But, like, oh, crabs on the beach is hell. God, crabs on the beach is hell. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, it's fucking hell. I'm very scared of the ocean. Yes, that's true. Alligators are not extinct yet. Sharks have gone extinct wonderfully. And crocodiles have gone extinct. This is in the last five years on the calendar. So, whatever that's supposed to have meant. Alligators are not extinct, and that's the greatest danger in the ocean right now. I'm not actually afraid of anything else coming to the beach because people seem to expect to see alligators. And I would venture to say that alligators are very, very, very much almost extinct. In fact, extinct. Not yet. So where do we say we are? What do we think we knew? That's, those are those are those are monsters that live on Tetsu. Right? Isn't that, isn't that crazy, wonderfully crazy, how far away we are from human civilization, for the start? It's just con a set of continents that are so far removed from other continents. But if you went into the sky, where well, there's air, that's only, if you went into the sky, so far into the sky that you cannot see the earth below, that is called space. And so there's no, there is no current, there's no gravity, it's ridiculous to say. What's the gravity? What's gravity? Um, genetic structure, musical harmonics. So what currents are doing and pulling it around? They're swirling, fucking spiraling, fucking star clusters and biospheres. Biosphere is like an ocean in the in the sky. Uh, an ocean is a biosphere. It's completely different from one side to the other, and a surface break tension. Yes, you can dive into a biosphere. Obviously, don't use a door for a biosphere. Are you mad? Cave is called a gateway. It's true, it is not called a biosphere, because you do have to enter from something. A gateway biosphere is a lunatic's project. You were drawing some jellyfish in the water. Where do you think you say your name you are, and what do you want to become? Why do you want to be the way you are? Why do you speak to humanity and believe that what you had to believe before was going to be the same thing as what you had to believe in by now? Where do you want to come from? What do you want to be? What do you want to think about? What do you want to be? Become? What do you want to think about? 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 Where do you want to be in your own human life? For whom you think you say you are? I'll say my name again. It's Hanukkah Makila. Hanukkah. Please just know it's not that. Um, we're playing in, in, in friendship and uh, hanging out. I've a, a great series of names. Clark will say is, is um, I got famous is one of my names the, the second I took it because I, I discovered a way I could paint. That was incredible. So I have incredible paintings that I put under the name Clark Cortez. Um, 
if we're hanging out and you thought to think of me differently and asked a certain thing of me, you could say, Clark, for that, and I can listen and talk to you. And the greatest sign of my name is that it's one of that, and that's important to me. So where do you think you say your name, yeah, and what do you believe, and how do you think you should live there? What do you think you should? Of who you think you know, yeah? That's the law, and she's like, oh, she's here, like, oh, because now I've got to get my name, and she's going to get my name. How does Star Wars work specifically? What is gay mean in Star Wars? Gay. It has nothing to do with sex. It's evil. Yes. Something evil was done to you, or evil affected you and hit you. An avalanche hit you, and now you're lame. Either or, yes. Either you are lame, or you are a parasite, which is a violent raping predator. You have to understand the word is sound enough to describe an extreme weakness in the lane. Extreme weakness. Which is that you have to also understand that, that with that word, you can all pretend that there was tolerance for, for the behavior of um, Rabbit and Winnie the Pooh. Of course, you care for Rabbit. God, we don't think about compassion. We, the human spirit, well, we, it's all we are, is compassion. It's all you are. You don't think about it. Of course he's a good person, and he's lame as fuck. So he's, no, he's not good. But what, what do you get? Is it, is it just a, a situation of, of he's different from me? No. Universal beauties, and he's stressed out. It hurts like hell. He hurts like hell. To be around I hate him so much. <laughs> Where do you want to be? Do you like that you treat it like it's a problem? Because he's almost not enlightened, and that's stressful for Buddha. In general, he will no, he will never argue that Ariel is not gorgeous and to be loved. He is not in love with Ariel. He's incapable of it. He is lame, and he will never. He's wise enough to know. That's sickening that you would fucking speak that you don't think Ariel's fair or what's for no, there's people that you if you were not in love with Ariel, you were gonna get a baseball bat to your fucking head. Lame, someone already got you. Alright. Uh, true. What's the real secret to life? You don't get hit with a bat. Let's actually talk about it. I've said it online a number of times. People get it almost there right away. It's very young ones listening. But they've sensed it already too. Don't get hit with the baseball bat. How is that possible? I'm a very, very, very elite martial artist. Why would I hit you with a baseball bat? Will not is never will. Cannot. Will not is cannot. I would not. I never would, so I cannot, I can't hit you with a bat, you're good. Well, <laughs> you thought I wasn't in this. <laughs> <coughs> Where do you think you come from that you want to believe in who you think you say you are? To know for who you think you say your name was. What do you want to believe in? An American, do I look American? Oh, you should have shown weakness in that situation. Exactly right. What do you think you wanted to do? Do you know who's the god of being English? As opposed to who created the language. Wouldn't you like to know about Star Wars? Who spun that language together that they can switch to? Like, um... Jango Fett did. Probably not used to speaking in English. To Obi-Wan Kenobi. And was using words incorrectly. Fucked it up. Because he's not used to lying, you know. Do you know who Boba Fett was? Aunts won't do that. No, they were all evil. Why did Obi Wan have a problem with slaves? He did not have a problem with the slaves. They were an aunt army. Who arranged it? Boba. Why are they aging? They're doing the same thing as each other. Oh, fuck. Ninja. His name is Ninja. Isn't that curious? 
yes, he was in such a thing as called the Jedi Mind Trick. You wanted them here. Dad. <sighs> Rocket Man. You thought Rocket Man was killed falling? That's like saying Batman was killed falling, I thought Han Solo doesn't keep grapples. Did you know that he's immune to pain? Han Solo is. He's Dracula. He's immune to pain. He feels agony in his blood. It's very different. Yes. He's, in, he's not... Um, uh, numb. By any shot. He's immune to pain. The wolf. Yes. The beast. He's immune to pain. I obviously you saw the move. You're not gonna cut me. I'm holding it. Do you know how easy that is? What is the actual oldest trick in the book? It has to merit that the book is there. It's the death trick, and it's full. Everyone thinks you're dead. You fell. It really happened. Why did you get inspired by the Yeezy? He's very fucking active. I've got planets for healing up and a few nodes and models. It's fine. This is what you thought. If you knew what you were. Batman and Robin, you're giving a problem about. Who play who play um Boba Fett actually in the movie in the mask? Um his name is Robert Daniel Sloan. It's not Robert Daniel, it's Art Ego. Immortal, obviously, but he played it. That's a dragon. He's an incredible fighter. An incredible fighter. Very, very cool. Um, <clears throat> Bounty Hunters don't work for money. They work for torture. Robert Hutz, you fucking... Right, exactly. He, of course it's Robin Hood. It's Rocket Man. He's no good to me dead. Doesn't make sense for a torturer. He wants to see me like the body when he brings you the blood. He just says it because that's how he pissed things off. What was that conversation like? What was Darth Vader doing to Luke in that later moment? We are the most trusted force in existence. is how we are, choose to be. Well, did you saw it, see, and it's supposed to be a longer cut, but the, the, sh the cut we have, the trip that here, did you see what happened? He cut him. Luke, we, he's babying him. And Luke cut him. And so he got angry, cut the fucking thing, and sliced his fucking hand off. And when he said who he was in the story, Luke was sure the situation has become that he can learn here, that which is that he's not leaving with me. And he's calling to lay a bit some rhyme because I'm gone. Yes. What's your point? Where is everyone? Why is everyone? What did she do? What if he needed to write the sound of what they did? They're players. They can't actually have anything scripted. That was that was that was crazy to think that was going on. They were reading lines. You have to make up the moment from the fucking text they're reading on instead of just being a real moment. You memorize scene by scene. You need very very short clips. The most powerful scene in the world, and you have no momentum because you fucked up the next lines. Now they're players. They're wonderful <laughs> actors, and the movies are endlessly eternally long. So where do you think you are? Am I a proven psychic mutant before all of this? I just bring it up in this context. Because I started this with my fucking rescue beacon by copywriting Ray, the lightsaber in the Millennium Falcon. I name it Ara in a novella. Let's call it a novella now because I had to stop my book because Disney stole it from me. But I was psychic enough to stop my book before I could be challenged in illegal mafia threats that I continued in the story that they had produced. I didn't. 
day picked my novel up right where I left off. Isn't that fucking remarkably fucked up? That the huts thought that they could have Star Wars. It's about you not having it, is what it's about. Obviously, the situation is advanced to the situation you had to believe in. Which is, the, oh, what, was I, what did I say about the X chart? X. Um, I was saying that, oh, in the books. Yes, when you write out what you've done, which is at your own powers, aren't you happy you were listening? <laughs> um, you write, I could write the powers of Superman. And it's in ten points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, X for ten. But to, um, Greg and Rumor all. Why did I say Greg and Rumor all? Have you heard Roman numerals? We don't use things from Roman, they're shitty tools. They would just hit the power of other tools. That's like a tool driver. That's. Okay, wait. Where are, are you searching for them, Timmy? I don't know that they've heard where the tool driver is. And watch the rest of this video. Um, Tim Allen is going to have to look for directly they will come out to Toys R Us. Yes. They want to get tool drivers straight into Toys R Us mainframe. Which is crazy considering that fucking Tim Allen conquered Toys R Us. I'm supposed to have known that you would be there with him, understanding how important that was for our existence is. If you have not seen the movie Santa Claus, that Tim Allen did, even the short version of it, it's like three hours or something. That is a wonderful movie. Santa Claus 2, okay, different, fucked up, but, you know, because in that real situation, a woman climbing on the ladder to fuck with you for the fucking Christmas graffiti because you ninja into the gym is not a hostility. God, that's crazy. God, that's crazy. God, that's crazy. God, that's crazy. What was that relationship really like between him and her? Um, the Santa Claus and, and the woman, the principal of the school. Um, it's his sister. In real life, it's very much his elder sister. And that's how it works. She is not an orangutan. So it's a trip world where you, you are an adult forever which is who that person is, and your sister, your older sister is a child, but that's not unusual for him, that's his life. See how it's strange, she doesn't base his life on not his life. So she goes through normal life of where she's a child, and then she becomes a little play with him out on different things, because she does that. It's a common thing, but it's usual and normal, and um, it's nothing to do with my children. They're infantile, I'm an infant. And my children are infantile. But, like, I couldn't even get to an orangutan. Orangutan's heck. They're either always children and never adults, or adults and never children. To come from the same place, Chinafia. Chinafia? 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 Wait, I'm not an orangutan. One says it will, and the other one says it different will. Wonderful. He does drink from the fountain of youth. It would be stupid to not sit on the fountain of youth. Considering you don't know what it is. It's a child. But, what do I know about children? I know all that there is to know in general. Where do you think you say you are? There's nothing wrong with your screen. I can know that who you think you believe you are, it won't matter who you think you said you've become. Where you think that you knew you were, I don't believe in who you are, and I don't have to understand what you've done. I can say that who you think you name you are, I won't understand the entire situation. Where you think you've become, I won't know who you think you say you wanted to be. I won't know that what you wanted to be was a world without your own understanding. Where I had to believe in who you think you say you were. I don't have to understand the way you think you say your name you are. Before that you could think that where you think you say your name you are was that nothing was going to have to happen. For most of the real world to figure out that what I wanted to have to think you say you are is going to be different. So what I wanted to have to believe in was going to be true or not true. Exactly. Always true.
So what does anyone have to become? <laughs> but what does anyone have to become? This one in this direction. Yeah, mom, I'm the early world of my I'm early world of my brother, um, who's Bruce Wayne, who's King of England. That's the name he has. Yes, yeah. his first award is called Dick Gratton among the Gales because the Prince Bay of the King of the Gales, Vegeta, is um, his name is Chief Wisdom, and he's the Shogun of Japan, also, and King of California or something. Diego survives now. Is he Zoro? I can't say that I could say I'm Superman because you want to understand what's going on with it. But I'm a very violent martial artist that I always say I'm not Robin, even though I'm a cat and a very, very fast fucking lion. It would be crazy for you to think I wouldn't do that, but then you want to have to actually understand it. You have to know what Robin is. There's a lot to live for. There's a lot to live for, and knowing what I know, and which is bravery, because of what the, what the concept is. But knowing what I know about people in a different way, which is me. Knowing what I know is very impossible to breathe. And very, very impossible to be breathe. So my Kung Fu, which is breathing, Kung, Kung Fu Army, Breath of Life, my Kung Fu attacks in shocking forms. And it is the, the, the craft of Kabuki, of the mask, of the white heroes. The robes of a Jedi are called um, Kabuki Kral. It's true. It's a mask. The Jedi itself ought to have a mask. Because you do dress in a mask and fight differently. Often with your exact same mask. <laughs> a lot of people. I, I have this biography X to my instance, which is that I, I love different colours of things. But you know how to just voice. God, you can treat fucking babies who are girls of things. Oh, my brother's a little child. My brother Rekka. Um, <laughs> do you know <laughs> what you can say to him a little bit? Well, because a, a girl is very obvious. Yes. It, if you call him a girl, just for being a young boy who's very unfair. I, he, I won't be a girl forever. <laughs> Should I say fucked up things to people? It's not the same thing. He's not a girl. It's true. The girl, the boy, it's a little baby Hercules. You can't do that. There is boy. That is a renaissance artist, which means he did everything. Shocking Michelangelo type person. Called Hawatsi. Shinyuhei is my name, if you wanted to know. S H E N U H A E. Shinyuhei. I'm gonna go ahead and pause my recording, because I need to find out if I have freedom to step outside and smoke again. Night, and I get locked in at night because it's a crowded home. It's a shelter. It's not my home, but it's where I am. <clears throat> so whether or not the world was wrong about who I thought I wanted to be and why I wanted to be talking the way I was talking is that I could believe where you thought that what you wanted to have to believe in was whether or not you thought that you were reality itself or not, which is that I'm in a very destructible mindset, so I wonder about how the way I sound will talk, if I don't know what I look like and what I think like and what I talk like. So I don't have to know about exactly where I wanted to have to say I was, and I didn't have to know about where I wanted to have to speak to anyone, and I don't have to know about where I wanted to have to speak to someone human, other than me. Where did I want to have to talk to anyone? Where did I have to want to be? Do I have to know about who they think they say they are, or where they have to want to know about? Is in who they think they say they know they are, what did it be? crazy as all they think they say they are. Why does anyone speak to anyone else? Why do we talk the way I talk? Why do we think the way I want to think? <coughs> what is anyone supposed to do? Does anyone have to speak the way they want? Does anyone have to speak the way they wanted to say they could do? Anything like this? Who do they think they say they are? Why do you know about who you think you say you are? I'm called a classified mutant. So where they think they said they knew they were, which is that nothing 
apart from where you think you believe your own self, is that there is no nation of super science that do not have understanding beyond your concept control. Where you think that where you have no application of power, yes, to form and exist by where you are. Well, you didn't. Well, you should. You should understand what magic looks like in the Dragon Ball Z cartoon, and that you had the anime, that you had the start, which was that you didn't even get to see the divide exchange of blows nearly as much as anything could have possibly existed in. You didn't get to see the naked anatomy. You didn't get to see change in attitude. You didn't get to see conversations. You didn't get to see sex scenes. So understand where you think you say you are. Where you want to think about normal people, you didn't get to see come from culture. You didn't get to see most things that exist in what Dragon Ball Z is, except that you could see enough true reality in your own heart, and it's scarred in the, re the real world. But these scars are the rewards that have it to exist there. So you have to look at me and wonder about what you think anything was to have gotten so far away from what you could actually humanly believe to be able to be childish enough to get into something, which was that you could think what you wanted to do was be very, very far away from anything but something that it was much deeper dose of psilocybin and mushrooms to take to want to get into something like Dragon Ball Z. In which case, I don't know where you want to start. Do you want to understand that you can watch um, Dragon Ball Z, the movie with the Reddits, and you don't know how long it is? Well, if you've seen those first episodes enough times, it might be a stressful and frustrating a situation to get into. It's not really, though. You don't have to worry about where that was. If you want to watch Dragon Ball Z, but what's the problem with that? Um, it's, there's no such thing as every episode of Dragon Ball Z. Do I want to do it animated right away? Um, I didn't think we were going to animate it again. It may as well have to be out there to screen as loud as you actually scream. But I'd be doing the voice of Gohan for sure, and I'd play Gohan in movies that we're going to make. We're going to make live action Dragon Ball Z movies. But like, I don't know what to say to anyone. Um, I'm just going to have to shoot laser blasts from my eyes. This isn't about Dragon Ball Z way. Is what's going on this? And you can see what you want. Piccolo doesn't use a Dragon Ball Z way. Piccolo had a lot of emotional troubles in where he was. So where does everyone want to have to be? Do you want to have to know about where you think you say you are? Do you want to know about where you think you say you were? What you want to have to say? Where you want to go from? What you want to think about? What you want to have to know about? What is uh, strange about people who, who where they come from is um, Britain is not close to Australia in the slightest regard. But England is very close to Australia. You can fly up to Australia easily. Yeah, and you can get to England. But like, why? There's a lot of England on the continent, Australia. Well, like, no, yeah, there's uh, New Zealand islands that are England completely exclusively. You didn't know that the way you said you were. And everyone hates London exists, so I understand that there was no centre of England where Kira Knightley was living that wasn't on a New Zealand island in the first place. Why live out in the fucking branch and fucking planets of where UK is? Well, there's a lot of England out there, but it's a lot bigger than uh, than you believe. It's an island, actually. It's not the same thing as the things that aren't islands. It's a continent that's got Scotland in it, and there's an island like Madagascar. Not a continent. So where is England? That was actually remarkable. It's supposed to be a lot of places. The Brother Woman goes a lot of places. England, the Queen. Yes, in fact, who they think they say they wanted to be. Who they have to know about where they wanted to be and who they wanted to have to say they could be. You know who Ariel Western House is? It's my sister for where she wants to think that she knows who she is to anyone. Which is that nobody ever had to believe in who they think they said they wanted to be. Anybody could actually even know about who they think they said they were. Um, she's, she's just a really good person. Everyone has to know about who they think they said they want to know about and who they want to have to believe in. So where do you think that you say you wanted to be? Is, uh, apart from your own existent reality where you could believe that what you wanted to have to say to anyone was going to be wiser than what you had to tell your own soul that you were in a uh, human animal humanity world that you could really think was intelligent. Anybody who wanted to have to believe that where they wanted to have to say they were was going to be wrong or different or gone from someone else. 
doesn't have to make sense for who you think you say you are, but where did you think you knew? I have extra special powers. I do, in fact, have extra special powers. I'm an extra special person. I'm an extra special boy into the world. She would do this is for one camera. But I'm a, I'm a eternal child and um, I have no one who's watching me. So what happens is that I can't think all the time. The illusion that I could, I could do something different and I was entirely with my thoughts. And I was enjoying it for where I was, but where I think I say I am. So I don't know what that would be fun. Get back to who you are. Do you know who you think you say you are? Where you wanted to be wise or strong or weak? Do you want to have to know about the truth of who you think you say you know you are? I don't know why you think that we're going to come from. Who the hell what you've done? Who do you believe in? Is it strong? Are you weaker than most people though? No. I would have said... I can tell another person who they think they say they are is going to be strong or weak before themselves, but it doesn't have to matter what you think strong or weak are, they are not together as friends. They are not together as friends. So strong or weak aren't. They're adjectives. Not to be with the same way. They can describe some of the monstrous beings together. They can describe them so wonderful. They're adjectives. They each form without a word. So who do you think 
if you say you know you are, where you want to be with them. What you want to think that where you could be is what was more powerful than who you think to say you know you are. I don't know about the answer and I don't know about the truth. And I won't know about who you say you were. And I won't know about whether or not someone wanted to be here to tell me who I think I said I was. It won't matter to anyone who I believe and who I think I said I am to have to tell the truth about who I wanted to have to be. I can't know that what I was going to have to do is say that I didn't have to know about who was who and why I was the way I was. And I don't have to know about who I think I said I was. And I don't have to know about who I think I said I was. <coughs> Where I think I was is who I think I say I am. I don't have to know the answer to who you think you say you want to be. And I believe in who I think I said I am, and I don't have to matter to who you think you say you are. Dracula invented in English, is what I was going to say before he brought the two there eventually. Right, Dracula is English. Yes. Mordred, son of Arthur, and son of Hercules. Yes. Creator of English language. Okay, good. Everyone's nice. I don't speak English. Right, what you're hearing right now is a certain word you said. What's going on to where people think they say they are? How can you be a better person? What does it mean to be around whom? Who do they think they say they name they are? How long ago did you figure out who you were? Would you say you are? Is my brother the King of England Dracula? Well, obviously. Where do we think we said we were? It doesn't make any sense for anyone to understand what they said they were. There is learning about the situation. Probably stop applying shit that comes to things I already said are true. I wish none of you. That's where we were. But, like, why would you get to where you were? Entertainment is a human person, you're not in his humanity. That's not one of his organs. Except for a smarter person. Yeah, but I'm the smartest man alive, Mr. Little Boy. No, see, I'm the smartest man alive. I'm a very young kid. So, where do they think they say they are? No one ever had to know about who they think they say they were. Why did they think they said they knew they were? I knew about who I said I was. I can't believe in who you think you said you wanted to become. But I can say that who you shared out to be in your own reasons for your own human anatomy was that I have been tortured in captivity and I can't believe in where you think you said you were. This is the first film I've made. I'm trying to get out of this place, but my family can't seem to have me back yet. So I don't know who you think you say you want to be to anyone. I can't understand what anyone was supposed to have been. I can believe that who I think I said I was. I can lie about certain things and I can say things certain ways. And I can lie about all these things concepts and introduce you to people. And it comes into things later than what that was, she said. It really doesn't matter anymore. The reasons why you were doing what was matter of. Okay. Good. Wizard. Wonderful. <sighs> what I was going to be about was the way they can best say they are. Knowing about knowing love and situations of existence was how I can think that I would believe in where I was to be human. So who I think I said I am. Believe in who I was so that you can tell yourself what you want to have to say. I don't believe in what you think I say I am. I don't have to know about what you've done. So whatever you thought of, I thought where I was was, you should fuck off. It's a fucking hell. It's a hell now. And it's not powerful, but it's very fucking stupid. Dipshit. So fucking get the situation advanced into the fucking real world, which is that your court is not our lives. Court beasts, which are called uh, the triad, like to say that where I am is very powerful. 
are where I am so powerful. Yes, because the tribe built poverty havens, they say. Five. Okay, it's not powerful though. It's painful. And it's not like it doesn't get defeated by humanity. But they don't have any humanity. So where you think you say you know you are is we have to do with that one. What you thought about and where you were, the baseball bat. Or you had to think that where you say you know you are. I can't believe in who you think you say you want me to be. I am not French. I'm never French. I am never French. Fashion shirt is both French and an old man. But seem to play Charles Xavier like he could tell you some kind of psychic mutant. So I was supposed to be Charles. Where is Charles? Charles Xavier. Sure. What's with him? If you if he was smoking cigars with Wolverine. If Wolverine wants to get him to do it, it smoke cigars. He doesn't have he can't keep smoking. Of course he'd have fun with you. Right, surely. There was no resistance built in this scenario. It was a completely not real scenario instead. So for where that was, it looked like a little kid. And in which case, they'd be best friends there. There was no reality in the movie that I could have seen that was that they were best friends. They had professional conduct. They had that he had to play Logan and he had to play Xavier. And in real life, they wouldn't get along. Is what these really awful people are saying where they were. Those people didn't play like they would get along with. They wanted to show you a part of the film. What did you think? Why did you say about what you think you say you were? Do you know about who you've done anything for? Where did you think you said you were? What do you know about yourself? Where do you think you say you are? Where did they come from? What is anyone supposed to have been? I could tell you that if I was going to be cool with the X-Men, and I had all that, the aliases to activate, plus I'll show you stories, or they go ahead and let you know that Charles Xavier's the real power. Damn it, I've got all the X-Men, I've got tons of fucking X-Men, except Cyclops, he's a fucking jack off. One gorilla, that has been a problem for everyone fucking ages, his name is fucking Leonardo, he's kind of lost all his names, but yeah, it's Leonardo, we know the name of Gordon. Yeah, it's not a fucking good person, um, in general, he's deranged. So that's how that was. A powerful, crazy person. That's the way you think you say you are. Do you know who you think you say you are? You, I cannot tell you how socially powerful I am. Because I do not communicate to you on those matters. I think that you are a weak creature. Where do you think you exist? I'm a liar. That's a requirement for me in these terms. Where do you are not a lion? Where do you think you say you know you are? Where was my intelligence to exist? Broken, broken worlds of forming. How come where you were was dead? I can't say the answer and I can't say where what you were was good. Run these coats, but you know the answer. You can't have a place called that. There's normal in more of a situation. You can't think you believe in where you say you are. 
Well, it's London Yard. Oh, it's fucking jail, or it shouldn't be. But you can have a jail, you're not London Yard. <coughs> shouldn't not exist. Why? You got in fucking trouble in England. And that's ridiculous. Because I don't know what's going on in England. What about jails? You don't know? Yard. someone you shouldn't have maybe, you cross someone and they're trying to have you removed and they hit you in London Yard. Yeah? I don't know the answer, I don't know the situation at all. Why is anyone took away at all? I haven't been to England. I was rescued from where I was sent to do. And um, in England I hear not missing off anything. So I don't know where anyone is. In my own existence. No. Um, in real life, are you stupid? Where do you think you say you are? I can't know the answer to you. And I can't believe in who you think you say you want to be. Whether or not who you think you say you want to name, well, you don't trust the answer if you say who you think you say you name you are. And I can't believe who you think you say you want to be. And I won't believe in who you think you say you know you are. So why do you think about who you dare say that you wanted to have to know about? Because I can't trust you, and I can't think that Beck was, was wrong about where I thought I said I was, and I didn't have to really mutter about it where I wanted to have to think I was. It didn't have to make sense for anyone to have to think that what they wanted to have to do was going to be wise or cleverer, wrong with the existing. In some kind of a situation that I didn't have to know about who I thought I said I was. I can believe that where I wanted to have to know about myself, I didn't have to know about who I thought I couldn't have to think I was. I do believe that people want to believe in where they think they say they know they are. And I don't have to know about who you think you say you want to be. I can know that whether or not I trusted my own self was that I would like the savior entity to met to be a student for on what side. What you can't access is unless you're removed from somewhere. Who you need to be the savior entity. You're removed from somewhere. You can't read anything they say. I don't have to worry about locking the site with something else. You can't understand what they say and talk about them. So sh I would like XavierInstitute.net to be a student for them, for them to just speak and talk to anyone. I would like XavierInstitute.com to be the school's main content page. Or like where I would have videos like a lot more videos. It's videos of um, Ariel and other experts on mutation speaking and where you are. So you think how to build an entity Reservation, but I'll read it in the reservation. I get to rule the world. The land that doesn't like to do. What if I did it in the new world because they've got law of land I like and isn't cursed like the land out here? It's pretty cursed out here. I like where that is. New to us, surely, for where these maps are. I call it the new world because I know where it is. And I know the names of many of the countries out there. Of other they, know, they have other continent maps, just so you know. But they have much more advanced technology around that they could just simply have freedom of travel 
There's a lot of danger out there. I'm going to attack the um, lower reach of the point man. It's a little scary shouting monster. Nothing like human. No, 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 no. Um, but there's a lot of very magical animals and creatures. It's just that, like, you can know that <coughs> there's you called them boundary walls, which is true. The people who live where, like, you have to keep the monsters from getting this far up, which is true. There's a boundary, which is just that places that people live to hunt and kill monsters. But, like, it's because it's very far from the southern coast into the fucking lands that they can get lost for you and not being up there. Yes, there's no man flying because the boundary wardens kill monsters and it's not hospitable terrain to cross because it's dangerous hell and they're not. Um, I know how to do such a thing like that. I can have doubtless men as in the people who look want to fool you for humanity and scary worlds. I don't know how have an army to wipe out the fucking evil down there. Which is good. We're in a world war right now, but that's not my problem. I can do that in a time there's not a real reason to have some delay. But I do, I just don't know when I'm going to get out here and actually see anything I have from my actual world. Very stressed out. I'm the Lion King. I can't trust who you think you say you want to be. I don't believe in who you think you say you want to know. And I can't trust you, and I can't say who you think you say you be. You start with believing who you think you say you are, but I don't have to know about what you thought you've done. I can believe that where you are, you start to believe in who you think you say you were the whole time that anyone was going to have to know about where anyone wanted to be. <coughs> so where they were, where they wanted to have to say, they could understand what they wanted to have to think about and what they wanted to have to say in one other situation and they wanted to have to do that. Which is, oh, I don't have to trust who you think you say you are. Boys like seeing me naked. I don't know what you think you say you do. Girls like seeing me naked. It's obvious. But they didn't think. That's not what I was talking about. What do you think you say you do? Where do you come from? What do you like to say about anything else? I talk about boys a lot. But I, I would like to play with people. I'm on board where I am because I'm trapped. Oh, I can't do anything about it. I take naps. Which I end up dead napping. It's a tragedy in America right now. We've got 300 cashiers. And the global activism that the world do something to rescue the kids. It's hard. Kids are killed off back old now. No, I don't think you should think my dad's not a kid. Are you trying to replace my father somewhere? Kyle McKillop? Are you not going to get away with that? That's a pretty strong name. He's fucking very young. She's young. You can't question him either. Whoop your ass. I love your soul.
I say you if you don't have the names you have. Uh, if someone's asking you if, if that's your real name, I said that or in the first sentence, that's um, Grams and Dudley Ford. Yeah, that's no, that's direct threat to your life and you don't know when they're gonna start stalking you or why they see you where they were. That's a very scary world. So who do you think you say you want to be? what you want to have to know about your own life and do you want to be able to be trusted? Where do you want to come from that someone has a belief in who you thought you wanted to say you are? Do you know what you've done and why you wanted to be who you are? Can you believe in the existential situation? The supernatural. Can you believe in where you think that you wanted to have to come from? I don't have to believe in who you think you say you named you are, but I don't have to believe in who you think you said you wanted to be. There's no situation in which no one ever had to believe in what they wanted to have to say to anyone else. I can't believe in who you think you say you want to be, and I can't believe in who you think you say you are. I don't know your own ways about life. Where do you come from that you think that what you are <coughs> is positive or strong and what? Do you believe in where you wanted to have to be? Do you believe in what you wanted to have to think about? I can't tell you what you've done and where you come from and what you have to think like, but I don't know the answer and I can't tell the truth. I can't believe that who you think you say you are isn't going to be wise or intelligent or unintelligent and why you have to think what you think isn't going to be the same thing as what you had to believe in. So where do you come from and what do you want to have to be like? And what do you have to think that you were going to do? So that when you kind of actually say that <coughs> where you wanted to be was never going to be more important than what you had to believe in. So what I had to believe to start was that nobody ever had to tell me the truth about what I was and where I wanted to have to come from. Have to come from. It doesn't have to matter who you think you say your name you are. And I don't have to know the answer to who you think you say you wanted to be. I can believe that what you wanted to have to say to anyone who's human had to believe in your own self as a human individual, a mutant kind. A mutant kind of person? Well, no. That sounds monstrous. Where do you think you say you are with charged words that are magical but it's only will have to be charged up? You know the word man? Do you know it has to mean something? In the ways that you said it, it has to be charged, it has to be sounded correctly, properly. The word, um... I mean, that one's specifically like that. But the word kill is like that. You're killing me. Kill and killing. Death. Used in all sorts of contexts, constantly, so that we can know the word and have the word. And then when you've said it charged, it's very, very powerful and terrifying. Where do you think that that was? Where do you think you wanted to be? What do you have to say to the world for your real life to be something? I can't say that I'm going to be more important than I am. But why would I think that what I had to be had to be socially important? It doesn't make any sense to another person or a human. It doesn't make any sense to another individual. Why would they think that they could be my friend if I said I was going to be very socially important? They're making friends with people. They are making friends with people that are not like people, they could think. That would be what you should think. I don't know what that was. Unless I said it in a way that was mocking it. In a different way. Individual circumstance and scenario. Where, what, where are you for what that is? Are you tied over from the place you've been before? And you don't really know the answer to anything that you've done or said or wanted to be a part of. Do you have to believe in where you wanted to think that you were? I can't know the answers for who you are. But that doesn't make any sense to another person. I can tell you a good thing about who you are if you are good. So what do you have to believe in? Do you believe in where I think I say I am when I say that my name is Charles Xavier? Do you believe that who you think you say you wanted to be, I won't have to know the answer? I, I can know that who you think you say you wanted to have to become, it doesn't have to matter to who someone else wanted to be in the first place. And if you were a normal human, you were waiting for, for immortals to say something about what's going on because there's all been a lot of voices out to say that we all die. And we've all got away from this. But you haven't been alive all that long. If you think that, that was true, you lived about you know, 90 years if you're that old to do it. 
you haven't been around that long, so what do you think you're waiting for? Someone to make, say it makes sense. I'm a lot older than 90 years old, I can tell you, if you were using the calendar. 400, they said, before I died, but I don't have my body leaving apart from this reality, but it's all things that you've been told were true, and told were, were so common about the world. And I can seem to say a number of things that continue to make more sense than a lot of things that you can fucking understand, that you can feel those things. Things that I've said, you can feel them. So where do you come from that you believe in that? Is it meet and kind? Okay. Well, that, 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 that word changes the, the setting to more of um, what I would say that Aesop was known as fable was been about, which is that two of every kind. Big enough for two of every kind. As in that people knew that what kind of animal it was. They didn't have your classification of a fucking tiger in a situation. What I meant was a kind he's not, you can say that he's not bringing any snakes. Well, that's a little bit further away, but you're too, too abrupt in context for what you had in a context that was a story that didn't make much sense to listen to. And it made sense spiritually to want that, to be in that situation. Whom flooded the earth? Was it the earth was flooded, and who is the earth? Where is that? We don't have evidence of floods, <coughs> but there are equally as far along you know, documentary films about Noah's flooding of the earth, and if they have that voice on the documentary, you know it's real. The people do that, no matter what they've said. The Noah flood, from where you think, say, so many years ago. Where do you think that you knew you were? Do you understand who you wanted to believe in? Is it me? <laughs> where do you want to be? Do you want to understand where you think you said you were? Who am I in actuality? My hands lying from the line. Christian God himself. Where are we for this situation? Did it not used to be two crown princes of England? I can tell both stations are my own name. There's Prince Eric, King of Australia, the other crown prince, and there's Charles Xavier, the younger, and we wonder what's happened to him. Which is that I was never going to get away with being really small, eternally young all the time if I didn't make a second crown station. But I had to reform England itself as what the country is and the feeling and sensation to build that into to a normal reality. So you can go ahead and look at Prince Harry, King Harry, and know that you're satisfied with the fact that you've got to see the teenager version of a crown prince and you don't have to worry about the little baby kid one for the next 7 billion years and no one has to be concerned about the situation. Where is that supposed to have been? Then I am Charles Xavier, that's the oldest of my life. And my brother is James Howley. Where were you that you thought you could hear of the oldest man alive? There is an oldest man alive, his name is James Howley. He is the one who created that he was used to be Prince Planet and he met the the King of the Gales or yeah, Prince Planet of the Gales, King Vegeta, was the King of England. And you have Zoro stories about that man. Where does Zoro stories come from? You talk about versions of Arthur, don't you? And you know some less, little less about what the anglo saxon War. But like where the book burning practices carried on out as soon as all well, Where are the other stories? Who is that? Who is that either? We don't get it. We don't, you, you aren't allowed the kind of things you're allowed um, in California for that kind of a fucking book burning practice. We'd rather tell a fantasy story and keep that intact and not have to tell you about what historians are allowed to do because they lie about California roadway stuff. They're very scared and they don't try. It doesn't ha seem to happen and all make sense. What are you supposed to do? Study literature of Mexican government? <coughs> it doesn't make any sense for a normal situation to continue understanding where you think you say you are. But where are we going to be that you heard about the oldest man alive? Where's that going to be startling? Did you think it might be an immortal? Who did you think you say you are? If you had the, that, if you were hearing about a baby, young boy, and he was hearing this, they had a baby at the street, but he was living for years and it was always a baby. They had a baby, they always, they always had a baby. And um, he was howling once when they tried to grab him, gangster corpse, whatever the fuck it was, and howling without relenting, which is a breathing thing you can do to just keep howling. People can whistle continuously, did you know that? A lot of people know how to breathe in and whistle correctly too. Or it's breathing in and out. And what if you're super in that one and just breathing continuously forever? Howling. And so then the baby 
started doing it. But like the baby was crying and wouldn't stop crying. So he broke in, took the baby and little baby squabbling close. And um, somehow the, the baby like learned to walk. And so who was older? It's, um, it was changed, obviously. But who was older is the wonder question who you think you say you are. He's his older brother. It doesn't really matter beyond anything you can say. Or you can't say one thing and beyond another. To be in an age for who you think you say you are, and that was Prime Prince of England and, and the King of England. So who you think you say you wanted to name you, you think to be, is that who you believe in and where you wanted to come from it doesn't have to make any sense for someone who wanted to believe in who they think they say they wanted to be. It doesn't make any sense for someone to have to believe in what they had to believe to say, that where they wanted to be. They can understand where the stories of Athena come from, and why my sister had to tell you certain things in a certain order to fuck with your own head about what you believe in. Where do, you, where do your stories come from for your schools? Who in your schools made sure that you had to actually talk about this literature? You don't talk about Norse literature. You don't talk about Vikings and the you forgot at all, but you can't use their books. The books talk about sea serpents and dragons, and you can't believe in sea serpents. I can tell you what a sea serpent was, it was a crocodile. They grow, there's hunters now who, who would have been talking about megas and crocodile, and it was like fucking 40 feet crocodile. And that's the normal language for it. Well, what happens in a crocodile? I can tell you that the mental men mentality of a, of a mind that was already much like a scorpion, which is just all the way evil, which is that this carnage, this torture was never good enough. Sword. That's the scourge, crocodiles are like that, or Sabor, saber tooth. They say Sabor uh, was Tarzan's enemy, it was a fucking monster, a fucking leopard crocodile. But like, so what? Hyperion is the name of the villain too, or, um, with their name, I think they say they are. And so, but like, was never good enough. It's furious at themselves. This kind of this torture was never good enough. And so they keep on swimming through the ocean, and you don't have that they are in a swamp and like had to stay squat because everything that comes by is a crocodile, so it's like a main group of crocodile power. They're not slithering side to side, they're vertebrae breaking back up and open, and they're moving up and down. Why is a snake the way it is? You can't stay a, an evil lizard, you get your legs ripped off. Iguana, outside of the fucking cold fucking cadaver caves, turn into snakes because they can't grow their legs back fast enough. Lizards grow their legs back if they've lost the tail or legs, they grow them back very quickly. So I'm only in California because there's actually just green lizards around. Them. And they've, they've you've seen one with a leg and he has it, but no, they grow it back, they do know that part. It looks like it's growing back. I don't know what to say to you. If you're not from anywhere that has lizards, of course they grow the legs back. That's reptiles. Even the spider man movie, the reptiles do it right away. Alright, so okay, we say for the what that is. But like, it's all you're doing and living for is fucking breathing sickness, death, and hell. You get they have to fucking slither away and get away. So all they're doing is getting their legs ripped off. They don't grow their tail and their legs back anymore. And that's a sea serpent in the ocean. It's a crocodile. It's the only fucking concept of like what it is to actually have to keep swimming like a psychopath. So that's what that is, and they become gigantic because the ocean is not the size for you to be in other situations like that, billions of feet long or something. You have to know the way you think you say you are. You would need a bigger ocean than what you have. You don't know where the ocean is and what you just 50 miles for what you think you said you did. And what do you have to believe in to, to know about your own life and your own salvation? And you have to know about where you come from to start. Do you believe in, in who you really see in the mail? Do you know about what you've had to say and what you were like and what you think about your own life and why do you want to be the way you are? Do you understand what you think you say you do? I can't believe in who you think you say you name you are, but why does it have to be something in agony to believe that, that you could change your body quickly and rapidly? You don't have to understand what you think you say you do, the martial arts is going to change it for you. But what's this, uh, there was a, a remarkable coach I saw a short video of, they were calling like he's famous where he was, King James, for a, a, a children's school basketball court coach. And there was a kid who looked stressed out, but he was saying, and you made, listen, listen to me, you know, you made five, seven, eight, nine fucking key plays of the game. It was that you have, and he's telling them, you did this, you did this, you did this, and that kid didn't see any of that. Didn't see any of that. So fucking important. It's called Starlight. That kid wanted to be good at kids playing fucking good. It's called the harmonics. What happened is that you were very fucking good where you were, and you were stressed out, and you looked stressed out. But being a star player, starlight harmonics 
is that you affected so many fucking things positive in the game. You were aware of a real, live, fucking, intense clusterfuck situation, which is which is shocking as a fucking re reality for, to have a, a just a, a wide speed human soul like that. And coaching, that I was very happy he was getting the attention he was getting. Kim Jace is obviously among the X Men. I'd love to meet him soon one day. Do they know who they think they say they are? Where they want to come from? Who they think they say their name they want to be? Who do they believe? Or do you want to tell me who you think you say your name you are? This is never any other kind of a situation and you want to have to believe in what's going to be more important. But who do you think you say your name you are? Why do you want to believe in who you think you say you want to be? Do you believe in who you think you say you want to know? I don't have to know about the answers and who you think you say you want to be. You have to believe if I'm a doctor. I am a doctor. You shouldn't understand that in the slightest regard. What in the world do you speak to people in? I'm a witch doctor. That's easy enough. No one ever has to believe. How do you talk to your situation and which is involved? Doctors carry a revolver, that was easy enough for you to know the truth. Where do you think you say your name you are? Of course I'm a doctor. Where do you believe? Where do you come from that you have to know about who you think you say you are in? I can't believe in who you think you say you are, which is that I will never you. And who you do believe in who you think you say your name you are, I can bring them back. I don't know about who you think you say you are. Do you see me in 80 years, young as I am now? And the child is asking, is, is that the same Charles Xavier, this current prince, is the same Charles Xavier that grandfather saw? She said, I never did tell. That's the name of the station for. Sure. Should you ask me about your grandfather anyway? Yes. Very much so. You can meet me in any order. If you wanted to be afraid of time travel, what do you have to do if you were time travel and you were being a superhero somewhere? I would like to see your stories change and walk. Which is that what you actually do believe is that you have to find England. England the Queen, yes. If you needed, if you were in trouble, don't ever worry about where you were. That you didn't know that there were other heroes in the world and where they were was strong enough to be the monarchies of who you believe you think you say you are. And you have to be able to find them in any situation. For whatever kind of a political game you have in your life. Who is the Queen of England right now? The secure home. Okay, that is England the Queen. So who do you think you say you name you are? Where do you want to believe in yourself? You have to know about who you think you say you wanted to be. There's no wonderful nation or country called Deutschland. And there's no UK. And there's no Britain. There's no Great Britain. There is England. And there's Japan. And there's Germany. But what do you think defines a nation of excellence? Do you believe in who you think you say you name you are? What is China? What is all China? So bring family dynasties. I can tell you about the story of Moron which is easy enough to understand, which was that the emperor was having women executed for fighting babies, Huns. Don't think I live in a life without hatred. They would fight, if they fought too well, or they put on armor to fight monsters that were ripping villages apart. They were being executed by the emperor of China. Alright. So Mulan killed the emperor with Shang Yi's sword when it was presented to him, Mulan. Yes, a boy, child. A model like I am, young, a cat like I am too, yes. Very much well loved, a pussy cat, fun, doctor, incredible fucking fighter. Where Shang was a wolf, Mulan is, I mean, he's in the story. Don't believe the first time you heard a story, like, oh, you wanted to know about Mulan in some kind of a real human in love scenario before the Disney movie came out. Why would you think that once it had something to have an actual element of story to it, they hadn't just moved and covered up and burned where they were for things? Where do you have to believe that you really wanted to be? I can tell you a lot of stories. Um, so who that th you think you say you are is that Fa, Mulan Fa, has its own honor. It's a sovereign family. Even the guards with the, the generals, or even eventually the vizier, have their own families and their own honor. They respect the other families of China for who they are. When they were insisting Mulan was a woman, which is illegal for them, they were not allowed to disgrace a soldier, to disgrace Fa's honor, and have make Mulan drop his pants to show his penis. They have to stake their own on it. 
which is simple enough that, that you can't be budging on things, but because you're moving, like you can look the shit out of them back where they were, back where they were, back where they were. And that is taken the wrong way. They did. He would drop his tongue and another general would be beheaded in front of their guard. In serious context, you know, where the reality, and you, they would never, the, the men couldn't before, and they could have to run for their lives for saying what they said. You just put one of the fucking wrong, or something like that, in the situation. It was never could be, be believed that it wasn't a woman, but they didn't understand what being in love with any one person is, and what sex, sexuality was. And what a legend of Mulan could be there in the kids. But it was a male, so that now you could say that a woman could say a witch on that. Where is that story that you could actually understand and believe? That you could believe right now that they're, they're living in poverty, they're bitterly crazy rich, 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 rich people. Very, very wealthy. And there's Trida, which is the mafia of, of uh, China. And they love to build poverty citadels. And so that is who sits on the board of the United Nations, is Trida. But, you know, you can't say that, that the government that calls Japan to sell the new term understands anything about what the Japanese nation is. Well, where do you think you say you man you are? What did you think you had to believe? W-W-L-I-R W-W-L-I-R We are in World War Three. That seems obvious enough. I found out, um, news I told you supposed to the other day that it said that, um, auto braking will be standard in cars by 2022. People are complaining about phantom braking. You will not be able to buy a car, a working automobile, in America after 2022. I mean, that is World War. That is World War. You're out of your fucking mind. Where do you think you say your name you want to know that you are? You can't believe in who you think you say you want to believe. Do you believe in, in existential reality? I don't really think that I don't think existential means something evil. I can't remember what it is. <coughs> existential. What? Why do you believe in who you think you say you are? I can't know the answers for who you think you say you want to be. I can know that where we are, as human Americans, we can believe that who we want to have to say we are. We don't have to believe in, in your, your fixed, hexed planet of a world where you thought that I couldn't tell you that my name is Superman. And I don't have to know about who you think you say you are. But my name is Honka, Honka McKillop. Or it's Django, the Clark Cortez. And where you think you say your name you are, it doesn't matter who you think you say you want to be. I can know that exactly who you wanted to have to say you wanted to be is that I don't have to know about the answer to who you think you say your name you are. I can know exactly who you think you say you wanted to be and I don't have to know about what you've done. I can know that why you think you say you wanted to be more powerful than you've ever believed was that you wanted to have a lot of fun and a lot more fun than what you think you say you'll be. Where do we get this? Some other form of existence. The world that I wouldn't know how to say to you that I know that I love a person. But I don't know who they, they say they are. I can't believe in who you think you say you wanted to be. But I can't believe in who you think you say you wanted to have to become. I have to know that what you think you say you need to name you are. <coughs> that there seems to be so much life surrounded in tales of the X-Men. Involved in what it is to have a, a costume and a, and a name for yourself. A special name for what you are as a hero, fighting. Your fighting world has so much life to it. It seems so incredible to be a part of. That you wonder what happens in a normal situation where you believe that was true and you didn't get the, what the romances were in the normal world of a planet without you know, monogamy and a planet with understanding wrong and right and when you kill an enemy. Of course Wolverine's one of the most incredible X-Men, but like, he kills everyone he's fighting. That's, that's the guy who's killing everyone he's fighting. Clearly. That's what those powers were. So wonderful. You know, I don't need to make Wolverine vulnerable against the witch to tell the story. Because the truth is, wolves are scarier than witches. They kill witches all the time. It's just because it's a witch. She makes money at it, and she says she's indestructible. It doesn't make any sense for what you think you say you've done. <coughs> Where did you get your stories? They were ridiculous. What did you think you knew you were going to be? Were you going to do something incredible? And she makes money at it, now she's vulnerable. A poor witch. 
No, this. Oh, she can't kill her. Listen, for every situation, you want to have to believe in yourself then. Which is a gun that also kills everyone he fights. He has cars that explode when he hit you, he throws at you. And he uses a metal bow star. So, where. And that's charged metallically to explode your head. Does it sound like Wolverine's little brother? Do you know where you are? Do not Nightcrawler uses a sword? Maybe Nightcrawler also kills everyone he fights. What's going on for everything? Does Rogue kill everyone she fights? Probably. I think she does. But you do believe that the situations you've been involved in. Does Storm kill everyone she fights? I think so. Can she not throw lightning from her hand? That seems stupid. But like, you, I like that you have to go back and watch the 90s cartoon show of the X-Men to see more of what kinds of fights they were actually involved in. That didn't, that, right, that, that she had, oh, Sky and Storms is so fucking critical mass for, for reality all the time. That she had Storm in the Sky. That's for your street fighters. I don't think you know where you are. Where you have, um, Soldiers on the ground, warriors on the ground, just warriors on the ground to fight against the, the evils of all the world. You could wonder where you think you stand you are and that what kinds of people who are mutated in stranger ways or something and, and don't understand the Xavier Institute that Magneto is watching over and dealing with a lot of monsters. But that doesn't sound like... I mean, conscientious objectors don't get to be a part of the X-Men. <laughs> Where do conscientious objectors go? Magneto. They seem to want to turn murderer, which is how their world works. They are lynching people instead as the mortal world. Well, I don't know where you think you stand. Who you want to have to be like and what you want to have to know. Because I can't think that what you thought you did was if you said who you have to be like. You think you have to be like? It sounds like you're a classist, and there was someone who's established already as an accepted human, but that's an evil Hindu world. You're a Hindu person, which is not a good one. So, who you think you know about, and what you think you who you want? Do you believe that who you think you stay, you stand up for in your own life? Is that when you say that you stand up for someone? Crazy world. My two days for me to read and write head where, uh, like, Crane, where fucking King Cooper was, teaching when he was in elementary school, that it was, you, what, it, what, it, what is put, putting someone down, put someone down, and they had, in like a puppet show, but you can also pick up for people, and you can also pick people up, and that's where they started, you see, they didn't show up, There's, and that wasn't around in my life before. He's uh, Lois Lowry actually wrote the gift. I don't uh, a young immortal boy. He was a very small child in the fourth grade when that was happening. <coughs> and that was around in schools in California after that, like he's in Vancouver, Washington. Pick people up. Pick someone up. Pick someone up. That really picked me up to like pick up after them or something. It's called stand up for people. And it was so far away from a child's mind that you could say that pick someone up would well, made sense to say. You had to invent that world like you had to invent that the world is a marble floating on nothing and it's revolving around nothing for no reason. It doesn't make sense for world. But that's how that was. It picked someone up. It picked me up. Oh, is a what? I don't know what you thought you've done. It's putting someone down, oppression, and it's standing up for someone. Being a hero. So where you think you stand out is that you cannot stand up for a Catholic, a bully, someone who puts people down, an oppressor, and not be called a bully and an oppressor. You can't be called a hero for standing up for villains. So where do you think you stand? He said he defended, and he didn't say he stood up for people who were villains. Magneto does not stand up for villains. He fights for mutant cause. Maybe Ares. 
But like you, you get that he was supposed to be a god. Sounds like war to be that you would come to him for monstrous fucking plans. What happens with the gang and that entire brotherhood of mutants? It's all of them? All the other ones? The, right, and the gang's forming up there and they want to do some fucked up shit and all you have to believe is that it's against the humans. And they come to him. Every time. Yes, every time. They want to come to Magneto because Magneto is so violent. Yeah. So where is anything to do with that? It doesn't make any sense for the entire world of humanity mm. to not know that who you think you say you want to be is it doesn't become a part of what you've done. I know that what you think you say you stand up for is that nobody ever had the lead in where you wanted to have to know about. There was a series of, of before the, these most greatest disasters of superhero films of sick of sick of sick of fucking freaks. There was this era of a superhero movies like in bed, um, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man films, which was that you build a hero movie and as long as you had like a fucking phrase you played in the the, the preview trailers, is it? Because uh, he was saying that um, with great power comes great responsibility was fucking played all the fucking time. That he heard it all the fucking time. It was such a big deal to have. With great power comes great responsibility. You become enslaved for being strong. No, you don't. No, it doesn't. You stepped out of line. Uh, right. That's an awful person. I hate Uncle Ben. I don't like that person. Tell them why not a strong person, though. They just doesn't go anywhere. So, you had, um, in the Batman movies, Batman Begins, you had, um, He's saying that this isn't really him. It's still me, Rachel. And she said, it's not who you are underneath, but what you did is that finds you. Well, okay, but... What the fuck were you saying to her? He did all this. He's a, he's a typo socialist, and he was acting like a different class of person. And I know you object to one class or another. It's still me. What did you think she was looking at? You've become... Right, that he thought she was a nonsense man. But he also told you to, to fucking mind him. Like fucking, you don't ask me questions about business. That's, you know, with the Godfather 2 or something. The fucking monster, fucking Michael Corleone, monster. And he, like, you can get an American wife because they killed his small wife and um, she's angry this one, and he said okay this one time I'll let you ask me a question about business what is, she, what is that entire situation is that you have to trust me where I am before I don't know how to explain that situation to you Christian Bale's all the way a monster that idiot so where is anything to have done with anything you wanted to have to do it's not socially whether he's not an idiot or an idiot. It is that he is a monster. He has no humanity. He's a freak. He's an evil person. Kay Holmes is not an evil person. Gary Oldman's not an evil person. Michael Caine's not an evil person. Do you think they all hate Christian Bale? What about escalation? Never occurred to me before. It's kind of like, uh, yeah, it's like you, Beatrice. I saw Avery. He was so excited. He was killing people then. Mm, why kill? Because you torture endlessly. It's not about killing. You were right, she's never never killed. Can't I get the Justice Department? Jim Gordon's man can kill people. 
And Jim Gordon didn't have any men in that movie. He's, he's just got cops that are in a slave port to answer to him because he's dirt it. But Lucius Fox. When you're finished, use your own name as a password and the whole world collapse will put around you. Guess what happened to him? Come on! Jesus. Was that the next movie? Yeah, the guy who uses his own name as a password or something. I don't know, I, the order gets fucked with in my head. It will be you. That I thought of you this whole time, and it will be your decision to do that. Because I didn't have control. How can the computer feel apart? Why does he have to have his name in a computer code so people can read? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. It doesn't matter to anyone. It's not a good person. Lucius Fox, Morgan Freeman, horrible monster. No, he's a very good man. There's not a middle ground. Being good. Stay out of the way. And a lot of people don't. Which means they're really evil. Being pretty stupid. Pretty stupid's wrong. You get stupid into situations that are fucking awful. So where is that to an extent? Commit evil. It was evil to stop. Evil to stop someone, surely. Heroes kill a lot of people who just don't understand the way. Because they are socialists. They were evil. It doesn't make sense to believe in a situation you couldn't understand where you think you say you are. I don't have to know about who you think you say you are. What's the, the policy of guns? Policy of guns. It's a weapon. You already had to know that killing people was the thing was. You kill enemies, monsters. You have to be good. Okay. Which kind of weapon? It's an ageless weapon. You use a slide. Someone's talking to you like they've got fucking needles in their fucking jacket. And you need to keep the fucking Nazi away from you. You're like, yeah, I, you know, I need a slug, a slug, you know. So you get a weapon that if he tries to step at you, or you don't have to fucking touch him to kill him or something, you just, poof. It's called a slug. It's a, it's a fucking Nazi killer. You just create one. You build one. But people have no wealth in your world. No wealth ever. What's Frankenstein for? You got a little bit less intelligent. They want societies of people that had money and wealth. They want it was all totalitarian over that. No, 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 no. People have always wanted to be free. Australia was a penal colony. You can have a cop in it. That's a penal colony. Everyone missed it in the boats. Everyone missed it. No one's ever been to where you are. I know what they taught you in history class, and I know that it's evil, and I know that it's wrong. I have to leave the way you think you want to become aware of who is around you. What's in your body? But you're your body. And you want to say body means something else, apart from your mind. No, you don't. What, what you cut out and separated out before can you be getting you hit. <coughs> but don't try and stop me and don't try to argue with me. You are wrong to start. So where you think you say your name you are. I do believe in the answers that I have. I do know who I am. I don't know what you thought you were going to become, but I can't believe that where you are, or what you've done, or why you're the way you are, doesn't have to know that 
I can believe in who I think I say I am as Charles Xavier because my name is Hanukkah Matilla. I know that who you do believe in, I couldn't understand where you've come from. I am the Lion King. And where you think that where you wanted to be was going to be wiser or better than what you have to think you say you do, is that I'm going to be a lot more powerful than all of the people around you. Where you think you've come to, where you think you wanted to know about a life that you could believe in and a life that you could live, I have to know that I do already know that I have humanity. So who is inspired by watching this? Humanity. Humanity. And who I think I say I am, and when I know who you are. What's the one most wonderful story for that? Robot gave you the context and the story to help that he, you knew he was learning about life and talking. What is humanity? That he could wonder. He was just giving you a story. He has humanity and his friends have humanity. By himself alone has humanity and loves you. Already fight and rip apart the fucking planet to save your life. A normal human who has humanity. He who has humanity, I mean. A normal human. He who has humanity. Yes. Always. So who is that for you? That you can know the story for? He could have questioned. He's not asking you socially if he has worth with it or not. He's there. He wants the story. He's just saying it to help. Wonderful. Do you have humanity? It's called being one of Bell's friends. Oh, unquestionably, it is one of Bell's friends. The literate. Yes! If you don't know how to read, as you read, believe there are others with you. You ask boys who read forest trails and see situations of life. Natural born rangers. You ask if they could read and write their letters, you know. If in eventuality for things to do, surely. They're not illiterate, they read all the time. But they believe the world is with them. Because they can see things people have developed in the forest for being able to understand where they are. But believing in magic is literacy itself. That is having humanity to be literate. Because literate is not pretend, it's normal life. It's real life. It's not fair. It's, it's literacy is real. All life is literate. So where are you for this? God is not literate. If there was a person called Christian God. Okay, you remember where you were for being Christian. Maybe when you had it to an enemy, someone just said something completely mentally monstrous in front of you and you killed someone because you were thought if you, in your own mind, your own voice, voice came back to you. You said, no, I'm Christian. And you killed someone. And you got away. You killed a very horrible, horrible monster. A murderer, a kidnapper, a rapist. That's how your real life works. As a Christian human. What's a Christian animal? A uh, Christian human. Remember we said humanity. Where you think you say you know you want to have to be. Is that where you have to think that where you were? I don't know who you think that you say you are. By the way, I don't know who Madeline's father is. What's so wonderful about Madeline? that I would even bring it up to you. What am I going to do about the fact that she's so wonderful? In lives to people, is knowing she's wonderful and expect you to set things up where she was now involved in your paradise. As far as I know, there's an arranged marriage between her and my son. Because her father thinks my son is really wonderful also. Who do you think to say you are? Do you know who my son is? He played John Connor in Terminator 2. But he's, that's a Foster. That's the real Jodie Foster's son. He's very, very young. He's an infantile. He's a cat species anyway, which is what Tyrannosaurus is. He's so. Son of Aguan. Yes. Who is Mew. He's an infant baby. Cat is an infant. Infant. I'm an infant, and so all of my children cannot um, do a uh, door in the slightest regard. Infant, tile, because the species of, of I am is called infant, but it's what you know what infant is, yes. But like it was a 
that knew it was his own Zodiac and there was no other cops. And he has a baby. The baby goal was that he created another soul before you have a list of the Zodiac because they were their own individual advanced spirits. Right, so the next, the, 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 the child cat of cat was Tyrannosaurus Rex. You would very much need you to know lines are soft and fluffy. And when you see a cute reptile you don't know anything about, you just know that he's loving cute. Because lions have a much, much fucking longer history of tearing fucking planet apart. You enjoy Jeffrey Bowles the same. Um, I, I haven't met the boy. I, I dream about him. Um, he's Spyro. He's his own Avatar Spyro. And um, he was saying, you don't go to sleep every night knowing that most people are afraid of you. Well, she says, what is a dragon? And I thought, in his normal life, I don't not know that story. But like, I'm never been afraid of you because I can't think of who you think you say you are as I don't know who I am. That was worked very hard on. Aslan knows that they're afraid of dragons. He's very sure he knew that to happen. <laughs> so where do you come from that you believe in who you think you say you know you are? I trust my own life and myself and my brother. Which are better reference for you to understand child behavior and then tell it. Mm, Peter and Edmund. But you don't have a, a good Chronicles of Nine story just yet. Um, if you do have it and you will in a wealthier place than a lot of people that could think we're all wealthiest. Yes, but they don't not hear what I say and love what I say and believe in the magic of humanness. Where we think we say we name we want to be in our I can't believe who that they would say I know the name. I can't tell the truth and I can't be wrong about who I say. But I could know that who I think I say I want to be, I was. Whether or not you were strong, or that you thought that I could be born to be someone weak, I can't believe in where you think that your own situation was more advanced than mine. Do you know who you think you say you want to be, or what you are? To me, why do you believe in what you say you do? I don't know the answers to who you say you want to be. I can't believe that I know who you want to be, which is yourself, and I can make you more powerful. Yes, I can tell you you're more powerful, by that you will hear what I say and you are more powerful. 